Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a really quick tutorial in Photoshop on how to achieve uh, an aged vintage style effect on your photographs. I had somebody ask me on Instagram earlier how to do this, um, so let me just show you a quick way to achieve this effect. So first thing you need is obviously a photograph to work on and I got this simple picture I took of myself just, just before I started this video and I'm not, I'm not really bothered about things like blemishes and editing skin at the minute because this is not really about beauty editing so I'm gonna leave it as is and we'll just ignore the fact that my skin is not looking the best but never mind so what you need afterwards is you need to find and download somewhere on google a dust and scratches it can be a jpeg it can be a png it does not matter there's a bunch of free overlays on the internet and that's how I found these. I think I may have purchased these on, I can't remember where now, but honestly there's a bunch of free ones online everywhere so it's not going to take you long to find one. And then I also downloaded a paper overlay, let me just show you, and it looks like this. Again these are, you know, there's a bunch of free ones online so it shouldn't be difficult for you to find one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. If it's in a folder, you can simply drag and drop it on top of the image, but I got this in Photoshop open, so let me just scale this to fit the image. I'm pretty sure there's a quicker way to do this, but we'll just do it manually. All right, so we put it on. And then next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look through blending modes. And what these do, you can see it achieves different kind of look. And basically all you have to do is just settle on one that you think is going to work for your image. So I'm going to go with something like, let me see, this. Obviously I'm going to reduce opacity quite a bit, I don't want to look that crazy. That'll do. And then I'm going to do the same with dust and scratches and all is, is just white scratches on a black background. I'm pretty sure you can create your own and just scan them in as well um, but I'm just lazy so I just download them online. Again transform scale let me just fit this to the image um, almost there there we go and again same thing applies to scratches just look through different blending modes see what fits see what sort of suits your style and just stick with that. So let's see. I quite like one of these. I'm gonna stick with this one, I think. And it is a tiny bit. That's it. Right, so I don't want this image to be in color, so I'm just gonna add a black and white layer. And it looks horrible and dull, so next thing I'm gonna do is add some curves. Alright, I'm gonna work in the darks a little bit. Put the whites up. And just change this to suit your style. I quite like this. All right, I don't want this to be black on my image, so I'm also gonna add a solid color on top of it. And I'm just gonna go sort of something brown ish and see how it looks. And for blending mode, again, there's different styles. For like sort of wet plate, um, you would be looking at something more flat, but I'm not looking for that style. I want something like this, a bit more contrasty and just add some warmth to it. Quite a bit, so I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit. And that's around there I think yeah something like this and let's see I'm just gonna increase the scratches a little bit more and increase the paper as well a little bit more it just adds a bit of sort of a matte look to it not that much around there 
right flatten image and it's pretty much there the beauty of things like scratches and different paper textures it doesn't have to be perfect because obviously it wasn't perfect back in film days so the same principle applies here in digital and actually I might just reduce the tone a little bit by adding another black and white layer and then working my way down this way I don't know and then well it's pretty much finished and obviously there's a literally a million other things you can do in Photoshop so you can add things like photo filter as well that looks quite nice but I'm gonna go for something different let's go underwater yeah that's fine and again I'm gonna reduce opacity and stay around there let's see how it looks with blending mode the soft light I quite like it let me just increase a little bit There we go. Yeah, so I will stay around here. Actually looking now, there is a blemish on my face that I would actually get rid of, but I'm not gonna go into that right now. And yeah, so this is just a really quick tutorial how to achieve sort of aged vintage look. It takes you literally five minutes as long as you find, you know, all the scratches and paper textures to add on top of it. And I think it's quite fun to play around it. It's not something you would apply to every single image, but for some portraits it might work quite nicely and it might work quite nicely for fine art and other things as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully you were able to follow this and let me see if this was let, let me know if this was helpful and I'm always happy to see the things you create. So if you try this, let me know, send me your pictures and let me take a look as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.